Hey guys, welcome back. It's Cass. Today I'm doing my first fall makeup tutorial on YouTube ever and I'm really really excited about it. I hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned to see how I got this look. Alright guys, so you know the routine already. I simply just start off with my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and then I use my matte setting spray just to set my skin. Now I'm going to just do my ghost face routine and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link some videos down below that actually show me doing them. Next I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me and this is my matte poreless which I always use and it's in the color 338. Now I'm just going to go with my beauty blender to pick up any excess product. I'm just going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn to highlight. While I wait for that to dry, I'm just going to go in and contour with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Espresso. I'm just going to go in and set everything with my translucent powder. I'm going to use my Morphe 350 palette for the eyes. I'm going to start off with a nudish brown color as my transition color. Now I'm going in with this orange red color to add some color into my crease. going to use this darkish brick red color in my crease just to deepen it further. Now I'm just going to use my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer and I'm just going to place this on my lid to use as a base for my lid color. Now I'm just going to go in with this champagne pink rosy color in the Morphe palette and put it on my lids. Now I'm just going to use a dark brown on a thin pencil brush and try to deepen my crease. So what I did was I just used it to outline my crease and then I also did like a cat eye type thing going on and I'm going to just blend it out and see where that gets me. Now I'm just going to go back in with the bright orange reddish color that I used 
after my transition and try to brighten that color back up in my crease. I'm just going to go in with that brickish brown red that we used in our crease and apply it to my lower lash line. I'm also going to use that dark brown and just use it at the end of my lash line. I'm also going to use that same brush and just bring that dark brown up into my outer V to just give me more drama. So I went ahead and just did my liner off camera because I use gel and I don't have like a mirror in front of me so I didn't want to like poke my eyes out. But I'm just going to go in with this black liner in my waterline. Next I'm just going to go in with my Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect and this is by Maybelline. It's my fave. You guys heard of it. You know it. So yeah, I'm just going to use this to make my lashes get fabulous. I'm going to just go with my Contour Duo by Nikki K New York and this one is in ND09. Um, I love, love, love this. It just has simple but very pigmented colors. I'm just going to use my favorite e.l.f. blush palette and this is a quad and I'm just going to use the bottom two colors to make my beautiful fall perfect blush. Now I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Crown of My Canopy and then I'm also going to use my All Over Glow by Ruby Kisses and this one is in Bronze Glow. Now for the lips, I'm just going to get my favorite lip liner and this is LA Girl Espresso and I'm just going to line my lips with it. And then I'm also going to use my ColourPop in Creeper and this is just a bright red. All right, guys, and that is the finished look. I am feeling fabulous. I'm not going to lie. I haven't done my makeup in like a week and a half. So this layage was necessary, and I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Love you.